Hey guys, before I get to the main focus of this video, I just wanted to know, you know Dr. Maruki from Persona 5 Royal, one of the good new characters that came into that game, 10 out of 10, no questions asked. And freaking Sosuke Aizen are very, very similar for some reason. If you don't believe me, look at this. You can't tell me that they're not similar. Anyway, the main focus for this video is because I just thought about something. Anyone that's played Persona 5 Royal that's got to the ending, I'm going to let you know now this is going to be a spoiler warning, so if you want to leave, go ahead and scroll and then keep going. Done? Okay, so here we go. Dr. Mario Rikki gets introduced after the first dungeon of the game, and I believe he's there to like November, so they have like a little bit of a time frame. Once you do get there, and you start talking to him, he starts talking to everyone, your party members, like, throughout the story to get, like, a better understanding of what they want to do in life and what's wrong with them and how they're feeling. They do that, they go and console, he gives you snacks like juice and cookies, which is always dope. Then, he puts his little research to work, he says he knows that you are a phantom thief, but he says he has no intention of turning you in because he has his own research going on with, with cognitive science. After you meet Shido's palace, things become really weird after New Year's. New Year's hits, for some strange reason, dead people are alive, and it doesn't seem right. And the whole thing about that is Dr. Markey created this whole world for people to live in, and so they have a better life and live in without all the pain and sorrow that we're feeling. Digital Madman is phenomenal for a piece of freaking music. You can't tell me. Anyway, he makes this whole fake world so he can control and force people to live their best lives as he sees fit. So you go there to stop him because the, all the trials and pain and sorrow that you go through is what makes humans humans and what molds them into what they are today. True ending, by the way. So after you beat him and get to ending, it plays out like normal while your friends are waiting for you. But then you see government agents waiting to tell you. So your friends go away somewhere else tell you by on their way out the right gate because they're trying to follow them. So they do that. Dr. Mario Key becomes your diversion and he takes you to the train station instead. While he's doing that, he's a taxi driver. And I kind of put two and two together just a little bit ago, and I thought about it. He's a taxi driver now. He does not want to control anybody anymore for their destination. He's a taxi driver because in the taxi driver, the passenger chooses their own destination. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, please like, comment, subscribe, or dislike, depending how you feel. Tell me how I'm doing. Also, that last bit of the end there, I don't know why I thought about that, but that edit was like very last minute. I don't know what's wrong with me.